Listening text. Excuse me, could you tell me the best way to go to the city center, please? Yes, the quickest way from here is to take an underground train. I didn't know Cairo had underground trains. Yes, it's the only underground railway system in Africa or the Middle East. I know this because I work on it as an engineer. Is it new? No, but it's a lot newer than the London or Paris systems. The first line opened in 1989. It's about 44 kilometers long and goes from Helwan in the south of Cairo to New El Marq in the northeast. Really? That really must have made traveling around Cairo easier, especially for commuters. It certainly has. Trains carry nearly 2 million people every day. Is it expensive? No, not at all. That's one of the best things about it. Journeys cost the same whether you travel between two stations or go from one end of the line to the other. That's fantastic. It must have saved people a lot of money and improved their journeys to work. It has. So, how many lines are there in the system? There are two at the moment, but there are plans for six lines. Line two goes from Sobra to El Munib. It goes under the Nile. Really? That's amazing. Tunneling under the Nile can't have been easy. They used a massive drilling machine called Nefertiti. It dug a tunnel with a diameter of over 8 meters. Is there a line to the airport? No, not yet. That will be line 3. They've started work on it already. The whole thing sounds like a massive engineering project. It can't have been cheap. No, it wasn't. But we're very proud of it, and it's considered to be one of the most modern underground systems in the world. And, of course, it's an investment in Egypt's future as a center for tourism and business. When will it be finished? All six lines might be open by 2022.